Here we have our our Alpha 28 package that came in from Rollspawn Keys. Very neat and tidy. Uh, nicely packaged, und came in completely undamaged. And uh, he was very responsive to any of our uh, communications. Um, here we are putting our diodes in. They are, um, their orientation does matter. Uh, we wanna have the black little line there facing towards the square pads in uh, all cases. So, yeah, we put those in. In case you're wondering, why, in case you've noticed, my one of my fingernails is very black. I smashed it while fixing our fence the other day, and it's just still that way. Um, but yeah, we uh, bend the di the legs of the diodes to uh, help keep the uh, keep keep them in place while we're putting the rest of them in before soldering. Um, and I just hand bend them. I, I don't use a tool or anything like that. Um, right here, I'm putting a little bit of uh, flux on all the contacts of where the diodes are. Um, I realized kind of later it was unnecessary, but it does help the solder flow in better. And I just have a regular soldering iron off of, you know, Amazon. I think I spent $10 on it. I, uh, <laughs> I'm probably using terrible solder right here. I have no, I, I forgot what the kind of solder was, but anyway, any solder really works, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, we're going through, I have a third hand, a little pair of tweez reverse tweezers on a stand, a little bit of electrical tape to protect the PCB. Very helpful. Here we're just trimming down the diodes. You want to be careful not to scratch up the PCB. Um, but still cut them, you know, rather flush. Not completely smooth down to the PCB, but still rather flush. Um, here I'm cleaning off the flux, <laughs> the residue of the flux uh, with a little bit of alcohol. Um, Yeah, it can be a little bit of a pain. All the legs of the diodes that you keep, that you cut off, you wanna save those if you're gonna be socketing your Pro Micro. There's a, a video online of that um, specific procedure. I'm not gonna show it here in the video because it's a little time consuming, but, uh, but yeah, here you can see all the diodes in. Make sure you save those legs for your socketing. Here, I so I chose to do socketing. So that's is the socket that came included in the kit. Um, and I just use a little bit of electrical tape to hold it in place. Um, you didn't see in the video, I did, uh, do the four corners first. And then you gotta cut those bridge parts out. Um, I may recommend doing one of the sides or something like that, or like a, a crisscrossing back and forth, because, uh, I don't know, when I cut it off, it seemed to kind of bend the bridge of the sockets a little bit and I had to kind of re-bend them back into place, but it didn't really matter. You can move things, you can, things are flexible a little bit like that. So, uh, also not sure, so there, the, there it is after the, after I socketed it and soldered it, you can look that video. And those two switches I soldered in place after taking the bridge off. Um, and I did that, yeah, and then we put the rest of the switches on, solder them in, they sock it in very nicely, um, put the reset button on, came with the kit, very handy, I used the Cali Chalk, uh, low profile switches, um, I, I just do the linears. Um, I believe this board is dual compatible with uh, it, it, with any of the switches. You could use your your MXs or your or your chocks. So let's get this all on. All right, looks pretty cool. I uh, made a little bit of an acrylic bottom. I had to make it so it sat flat. Put a little 
carbon fiber vinyl on it. Um, flashing the firmware was super easy. I'm not gonna show the, I, I, I had already, I forgot to take the video. And, uh, but basically you just look up the alpha, you load it onto your computer, or load it, press load, and then it'll pop up in that top little thing there. And then you, you plug your, you plug your microcontroller in while it's in, plugged into the keyboard. You select it, the uh, microcontroller, it'll auto detect. You need to maybe reset it once or twice to get it to detect and then you will press flash. But yeah, that's about it. Um, thank you for uh, watching the video. This is uh, just something I wanted to put out there because um, when I looked up the build for it, there was only a few videos, and, you know, luckily, the, I believe the person that made it um, put a build video up. But there just hasn't really been a lot of build videos kind of showing through and through um, the process of this keyboard. I This is the first keyboard I've ever built. Um, it's something I've always wanted to do, getting into DIY electronics. I made several other projects, which I'll... Uh, be posting on here and doing other things. There'll be more videos in the future. Um, I have a couple other keyboard PCBs coming in. I'm uh, interested in the stenograph, the, the, the Plover stenograph project, and we'll be putting together a couple of stenograph keyboards. And so anybody that uh, wants help with these kind of things, just uh, feel free to reach out. Um, gonna be uh, exploring this community a lot more, just sort of got into it and slow but steadily moving forward with it. So. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll be uh, hoping to see more.